Let's take a look at the camera application. Show you that real quick and let's go into settings and again it has a 5 megapixel camera. The only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have a flash. Let me zoom in here just a little bit for you. There we go. Go through some of the uh, specifications. Focus mode, you've got autofocus as well as macro and face detection. Two different resolutions for taking photos. Effects. You can see the uh, menus. Pretty intensive. Did a good job. And then you've got GPS, obviously, where you store the photos and then the shutter sound. And you've got a couple choices on that. As far as video, again, here's your different resolutions that you can shoot. So that's a look at the applications. Let's take a look at the gallery real quick. Might as well leave it this way. As you can see, the phone's somewhat of a fingerprint magnet. Bring up a couple of photos I took with this. Get it in landscape. Now that was taken indoors, and again, there's no flash. Double tap to zoom in. It's a video we'll take a look at in a moment. There's an outdoor shot. It also offers multi-touch. Take a quick look at the video. Again, I shot this like everything out in front of my office. Again, it shoots 720p at 30 frames per second. So there's a look at a video. So I'll give you a chance to check out the gallery as well as still picture quality and video. Let's take a look at the music application real quick. It's typical. The one thing that I did want to show you, well, let's look at the application itself. There we go. Nothing you really haven't seen before in an Android music application. One of the things that I did think was nice under settings is you've got not only an equalizer, which you can see here, but also an effects category as well, which I thought was pretty neat. You don't typically find on most Android music players. Uh, let's take a quick look at YouTube. And let's play a couple of videos. And again, it shows under settings, you can decide whether you want to watch the videos in HQ or not. I have it in HQ. Zoom in a little bit more for you. Take a look at another one real quick for you. Alright, apparently somebody's a little upset with Steve Jobs. Can't imagine why. So there's a look at YouTube. Uh, let's take a look, let's do a little navigation test. And again, on the, oh, pull out a little bit. On the uh, Captivate, simply holding down the search key and then asking it to navigate will open up navigation. Navigate to Starbucks. Now it pulls up the map that quick. It does offer 
voice turn by turn navigations but it's got to grab the GPS signal and where my office is it could we could be here for quite a while till that happens so but it does offer voice turn by turn navigation it's just a matter of the GPS signal picking it up but that's how you navigate which is pretty cool and it's pretty typical of almost all the Android phones out phones out there let's take a look at a couple of web pages let's start off let's get back to Google and then we'll go from there. And let's put this in portrait. Let me zoom in a little bit. And again, I've got this hooked up to my office Wi-Fi network. It is not running off the AT&T network. We'll start out with taking a look at Smartphone Envy. And the tests I've run comparing this browser speed to most of the other high-end phones out there right now, it was typically faster than anybody else out there. couple things that I want you to know under settings. Let's take a look at that real quick before I forget. You have a separate brightness setting for the browser. And I have it turned up all the way. I have the display turned up as bright as it will go as well. And also, if you want to see any kind of flash, like 4.0 flash light, you're going to want to click on Enable Plugins. If you don't click on that, you won't get any flash at all. So, anyway, so there's a look at Smartphone Envy. And it scrolls very, very smoothly. You can double tap. Also offers multi-touch. Let's head on over to uh, a different page real quick. All right. And it's just extremely smooth and easy to operate. Let's take a look at another web page. Let's load in Gadget, which is a pretty intense website to load on a, a smartphone. And apparently I forgot to put my Evo on mute. Oh, showing up on both. And Gadget's almost loaded. It would have loaded quicker if the email hadn't been coming at the same time I was trying to load the web page. But again, it's very, very fast at loading web pages. And there's a look at Engadget. And again, it's just very, very smooth. So anyway, there's a look at um, AT&T's latest, the Samsung Captivate. I hope that's been helpful. Take care. <laughs>